My name is Jamie Decker, and I'm the Director of Electrophysiology and Pacing Services here at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. If you do witness that a child becomes unresponsive, passes out, and is not moving, you want to quickly try and assess the patient. So the first thing to do is to go up and see if they're actually okay. Um, so you want to tap on the shoulders, ask the patient, are you okay, are you okay? And if you get no response, you want to quickly see if they're breathing and check their pulse. So you want to reach down, see if you can feel them breathing, look at their chest wall, see if it's rising or not. If you do not see any breathing, you want to check for a pulse in the carotid, um, in the hand, wherever you can get a pulse over the chest. If you do not feel a heartbeat, then it's time to initiate CPR. The first thing you want to do is call 911. We know that early CPR and interventions save lives. And so the sooner you can get trained professionals to come and evaluate and help the child, the better the outcome will be. Um, in the interim, you want to start CPR. So hands-only hands CPR means just that. You're just going to do CPR. We're not going to worry about doing mouth-to-mouth -mouth and breathing or anything like that. So what you want to do is you want to find the middle of the chest, sort of just below the nipple line, palm down. Your other palm goes on top, and it doesn't matter which hand's on which. And you want your, your kind of hands, your fingers up off the chest. And what you're going to do is kind of lean over, and you're going to start compressing down and up, down and up, down and up, just like that. You want to make sure you go down about two inches, and then a little bit shallower for children. And then you come all the way back up, let the chest recoil, and then go back down. The rate at which you do that is about two compressions per second, or a rate of around 100 to 120 um, per minute. Uh, compressors per minute. And so um, a way to kind of gauge how you're doing is to sort of sing a song in your head. And the American Heart Association actually has a list of songs that kind of the cadence is sort of what, the, what you want to be doing at that rate. So common ones people use are Staying Alive by the Bee Gees, um, which is a little bit of an older song, but um, Baby Shark um, is one song that people I think everybody knows and you can kind of sing quickly in your head. And you just want to follow that to kind of gauge how fast you're doing this. Um, obviously, you want to keep doing this until you're tired. If there's someone else to help you, you know, have them get on the other side of the child, and then they can kind of take over so you guys do not get tired until help arrives. I hope that this was useful, and although we hope you never have to use it, in the event that you do, hopefully this gives you some tools to help save your, your child or another child's life.